Welcome back to Mobile Tech World and today I'm going to give you a quick browser comparison uh, between the Samsung Omnia 7 running Windows Phone 7 and the Samsung Galaxy S running Android 2.2 aka Froyo. So the first thing I'm going to do is to load up the browser on, on both devices and uh, clear the cache. Yes. And do the same right here on the Galaxy S. Yes and yes. And I'm going to show you that I uh, disabled the flash plugin on this one just to improve the per loading performance. I'm going to enable it later on. So we're going to go back and try to go to Mobile Tech World. Oops. Here we go. So I'm gonna try to hit both at the same time and see which one loads the website faster. So as you can see, the Galaxy S has already started to render the page, and it's finished. And the Samsung Anya just finished too. So the first thing you notice is that. The whole website is uh, zoomed out on the Galaxy S and not on the Omnia 7. So this is just an issue with Internet Explorer Mobile. And the second thing you notice is how smooth the panning and navigation is on the Omnia 7 compared to the Galaxy S, which is a little bit jerky and stuttery. And here I'm gonna zoom in and out to show you how extremely smooth it is. And here is an ad, and because I disabled uh, the flash plugin, uh, I have to hit this little icon to load up the ad. So, what I'm gonna do now is go to a news post which has a YouTube video embedded and show you how the experience looks like on both devices. I'm gonna hit both at the same time. And the Galaxy S is still faster at loading web pages. Not a whole lot, but it's a little bit faster. So here you have the embedded video right here. If I click on this, it will uh, load up the YouTube uh, application on Anya on on 7 and right here if I hit this it will load up the flash plugin which is embedded into uh, the browser and I can, pl and I can play uh, the video either in the browser or uh, in the YouTube application of Android so I'm gonna go now to another website and see how fast both devices can load it So, here we go. And as you just saw here, the Galaxy S loaded the mobile version of the website. So I'm going to try to change this. Anyway, there's no way for me to go to the desktop version. It basically the website detected the user agent of uh, the Galaxy S and decided to load the mobile version instead of the full version, like on the Anya 7. Here you'll see that I have the option to either load a mobile version or the desktop version. I'm gonna try to load up another web page. I'm gonna go to uh, in gadget on both. Oops, sorry. Here we go. 
and here it's also loaded and right here you're seeing how fast the Galaxy S is loading web pages compared to the Omni 7 it actually loaded the mobile version I hit up the link below to load up the desktop version and it finished before the Samsung Omnia 7 but as you can see here the panning performance is really jerky compared to what we have on the uh, Omnia 7 the difference here is that once your page is loaded on Android it's really fully loaded in memory so there's no checkerboard effect or anything unlike the Omnia 7 where as you can see it has to catch up when you scroll fast so now we're gonna take a look at how uh, browsing works on both devices and how tab browsing works on both devices so it's fairly easy on the Omnia 7 all you have to do is just hit this little icon right here and you can add as much as six different tabs and load up website and it will continue to load in the background even if you go to another tab load up something else and go to techmam.com load it up and show you that mobile tech road finished loading right here and this one is also loading at the same time it works exactly the same on the Samsung Galaxy S but you have to hit the hardware menu button to uh, get the menu and add a new window and you can add windows like that you can navigate to website and once again hit the menu button and go into the window menu and you can scroll through your menus and kill them directly from here it's a little bit more convenient on the Omnia 7 it's faster because you don't because everything sorry everything is on the screen you don't have to uh, open uh, any you know menu by hitting the hardware button everything is already right here and it's the same if you want to go into your favorites your bookmarks and your history it's super easy and you can also add bookmarks right here by hitting this little icon here on the Galaxy S you'll always have to hit this button and uh, go into the settings right here you can refresh the page to refresh it on the Omnia 7 you have to hit this little icon next to your uh, URL and uh, this is how easy it is on both devices it's a little bit easier on the Omnia 7 but you, you get uh, a similar experience on the Galaxy S um, the other thing that I don't really like on uh, the Omnia 7 and all Windows Phone 7 devices is that when you are uh, using it in landscape mode everything just disappears you don't have any URL bar you don't have any application bar below so all you can do is navigate through the web page uh, go forward and backward this is the only thing you can do and that really sucks frankly I mean it, it's I, I I don't understand why they decided to do this and what's in interesting here is that if you have a Windows Phone device with a hardware keyboard if you open the hardware keyboard you get a URL bar right here unlike devices without hardware keyboards so this is my main issue with uh, IE on uh, Windows Phone 7 compared to uh, what you get on iPhone or on uh, Android and uh, here we go you have the URL right here and you can always use the menu button to get to all your uh, navigation uh, features 
and right here all you can do is go back using the back button so this was a quick browser comparison uh, the Galaxy S, Galaxy S sorry, is faster at loading web pages but the user experience is uh, in my opinion uh, more friendly and better on the Omnia 7 and all Windows Phone 7 devices uh, there are some problems with some websites that uh, don't uh, load up uh, correctly on uh, IE so I'm gonna give you a quick example right here on this forum go to CG Talk and uh, as you can see here you actually have a scroll bar on the side of your screen and the same bug exists on the desktop version of IE but uh, um, not when you hit the compatibility mode and uh, as you can see it works not always sometimes I oh right here I can no longer go up and down because of this bug and right here you can see that there's a scroll bar right here this happens on quite a few sites and uh, this is mainly a problem with uh, IE's compatibility which isn't present here on the WebKit powered browser of Android but once again it's a little bit choppy compared to what we have right here so this was a quick comparison and you can catch my mobiletechworld.com or on mobiletechworld.tv on YouTube, so thanks for watching.